all right so I figured I'd go ahead and do the other quality control video I got some customers on the lot but they're they're doing what I suggest everyone do they brought their own computer they're actually doing regions on one if not both of those trucks fully fine listen do what makes you feel comfortable but that's not the point of this story that's this truck right here it's actually my favorite t680 from this fleet <laughs> for a rather stupid reason if I'm being honest they're all the same except for this truck has the legacy seat which is so much better let's door test it beautiful which is so much better than the factory t680 seats my god we're doing what I should have done all along. We're starting with the truck off. We're gonna check the oil. Which is kind of hard one-handed. It's got oil in it. That's what shirts are used for, right? I have driven this truck around quite a bit. It's, it's a little low, but plenty of oil in it. Could use a service. Washer fluid's a little low. I'll go ahead and top that off. Everything's nice and tight. No cupping, no uneven wear on the tire. Like I always point out, look at how clean the cross member is. You can tell, let me zoom in on this. You can tell that we didn't wash it, but it's not caked with grease. Oil pan's nice and dry. Mirrors are nice and secure. Grill's nice and secure. No scratch. Couple rock chips, but I mean, it's a semi truck That's a big surface to not have any chips or anything no uneven wear no cupping on the tires fenders are secure coolant's good everything's nice and secure engine's nice and dry better look at that cross member oil pan's nice they did exactly what i would do I hate that stupid lock. It's just an extra step to close your hood. It's so stupid. Bumper's nice and straight. You do have this. I noticed that um, when we went to buy the truck, they were supposed to fix it. Never did. It's kind of a shame. That's the only place where this uh, fleet let me down. Where's the key? Go ahead and walk around while it builds up air. Go ahead and get the AC going because it's hot here in Florida. And don't lie, beautiful. A little dirty for me to get in and out. You guys know the drill. It's a dirt lot. <laughs> These trucks get a little sandy on the bottom. There's your fire extinguisher. This truck did kind of bubble up a little bit. It happens. So see how it closes? I'm going to have to hit this. There we go. Toolbox. Chains and stuff like that. I always leave that stuff in. Future buyer might want it. Aluminum wheels. Virgins up front. Recaps in the back. Sliding fifth wheel. All aluminum wheels. No damage on the back of the cab. Of course, I got the lights going. Rubber grommets are in good shape. Frames nice and straight. A little dirty, could use a wash up, but. Tires are in good shape. Moving on. I don't know why I haven't backed this truck out. <laughs> uh, let's check the carrier APU, make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, cover, not APU. I hope this thing is nice, nice and tight. It's looking good, no weeping. There's your cover for the grill. 
steps are nice. Let's door test it. Of course, like I said in the last video, T680s have this little locker here. Scratch right there. All your uh, marker lights work. Mirror's nice and tight. Grill's not dented. I like the lot we're at now. But I do hate all the dirt. Let's go ahead and... And then like I said... Go ahead and pop in uh, Wipers. Wash. There's reverse. I do have customers on a lot. Like I said, they're doing their own thing, but I don't want to stray too far in case they have any questions. So I'll just circle the uh, lot real quick. Of course, the radio works. AC is nice and cold. I've driven, I've put some my. <laughs> I put some miles on this truck. I, I like this seat, it's nice and comfy. And I'm about working easier and being more comfortable. Windshield has no cracks in it. Radio. I wonder if it's hooked to my Bluetooth. I bet it is. Yeah, Bluetooth source. Come on. I swear to God, it better not get me in trouble. Lane departure. No missing buttons. There's your trailer brake. There's your engine brake. Oh God. I yeah, this video is getting copyrighted for sure. There's your owner's manual. Refrigerator with freezer. Nice look at under bunk. Nice and clean as usual. Yeah. A little bit of a nick right there and the CB radio mount kind of rattles a little bit but yeah uh, super clean trucks after I'm done with the customers I'll go ahead and do what I do underneath but I've driven this truck enough to know there's no weird vibrations in the drive shaft. It doesn't pull, it doesn't shake. Of course, just looking at the thing's not gonna do any good, is it? <laughs> Let's check the, uh... That's a little worn, I'll put a new one in. How about this one? This looks new from... Man, it's not bad. Yeah, that's good. These were really nice trucks. This fleet really took good care of their trucks. I'm the one that went out and inspected these the first time. Of course, like I said, doing the walk around videos of these guys. Diego inspected them after I did because I was unable to go back. Um, oh, wow. So you got virgins up front. That's a virgin. That's a virgin. So you got two recaps. That's not bad at all. 
all aluminum wheels no leaky wheel seals beautiful any questions let me know and uh, thanks for watching